In this video, I'm going to explain how to add a transmitted light channel to a multidimensional channel acquisition. So in this case, I've, I've already populated a montage without Z or T protocol with a GFP on the CF40 Xyla and a DAP-B channel on the CF40 Xyla. And I'm going to add from the same family, CF40 Xyla, the transmitted uh, channel to this protocol. If I were doing CFP and YFP, I would add this one. Since I'm not, I'm going to add this channel here. Uh, so just like with any channel, we need to set up uh, the conditions for this channel. And we will have, as our parameters to change, exposure time. But we will also have some additional ones in this case. So you can see here that in addition to exposure time, uh, I have transmitted lamp intensity, transmitted aperture, transmitted shutter, and transmitted lamp. So for any uh, transmitted light channel to work, um, you need to have the shutter open, the lamp open. The aperture has to be open at least more than uh, you know one, because else you get all of these artifacts. And so what I recommend is just increase it until it's fully open. And then you have to check what combination of exposure time and lamp intensity gives you reasonable results. And so the problem is that because the light is going through the confocal, um, if you increase the light intensity or reduce the exposure time, you get the following kind of nasty artifacts, particularly if you do them combined. You can see all of these lines are, are a result of low ex the combination of low exposures and high intensities. Now, obviously, low exposures um, would be nice because of speed. Uh, but if we go with low exposures, we can't avoid these problems. Now, lowering the intensity helps with those problems, but it also reduces your signal to noise. So instead, to get an image that's, uh, that doesn't have all these artifacts, you typically need to increase the exposure time and then make sure that the intensity isn't too high. Because if you go too high, you, again, uh, see those problems. So uh, the most effective way of getting rid of them is really to increase the exposure. Uh, but that will obviously make uh, your imaging take longer. But let's say we're um, happy with um, what we've done here. The other thing that's critical uh, for, for being able to use a transmitted light channel in combination with the fluorescence ones is once we've set up the transmitted light channel, uh, we have to go to each of the fluorescence channels and turn on the shutter and the lamp, match the aperture to whatever it is on the transmitted light channel, and then reduce the intensity to zero. So again, on the transmitted light channel, these two things are open. The transmitted aperture is at the maximum in this case, and the intensity is at some number larger than zero. When we go to the fluorescent channels, we want to match everything except the lamp intensity, which we drop to zero. And the same is true for this one. So now when we cycle through the channels, you'll see that the only thing that's going to change is the transmitted light channel. Uh, will have this intensity not at zero. And so once we have that, um, in this case, for example, we have a montage protocol. If we acquire, we will get images in all three channels. So you can see that this is working as expected. So that's how you add uh, a transmitted light channel and combine it with fluorescence channels.